Hello everyone, this is Patrick Newell. Uh, basically, I thought it might be helpful if I did a quick video on what uh, Mike Lazen Lazenza uh, was training us on uh, at the Photoshop 101 uh, training session. Uh, first off, thanks Mike. Uh, it was very helpful and hopefully this will uh, help to lock in the knowledge that you're giving us. So the idea is to go from the before picture of the cathedral to the after uh, picture of the cathedral. So first off, uh, doing over the uh, area of the screen uh, for the layers, which is what Photoshop's all about, uh, is there's different modes and they are listed here from normal, mul multiply, color burn, so forth for whatever effect you're looking for and then the amount of the effect is adjusted by the opacity. Uh, when you're editing a layer, you need to make sure when you see nothing happening, is that you need to make sure you clicked on that layer because it's only going to work on the layer that you tell it to. Uh, this right here would be a adjustment layer for curves. This is adjustment layer for levels, and then this shows like a mask. So you can do an effect and then pick just which areas of the screen you want to use it on then to create them down here you have a where you can do the mask here add a mask add adjustment and add a new layer as we said before Photoshop is all about layers so uh, you can easily turn on or off a layer by clicking the button example this is a layer a lens flare here by clicking it you can take away that effect and it'll come right back uh, you can also move the layers to which ones you want as I move this below these two are not affected by uh, layer 4 as an example now that we kinda give you a quick starting point let's take the before picture and take it from there uh, one thing I'd do a little different than how Mike was is I would like to get rid of these blemishes right off the bat so the first thing I'm going to do is do Control J to create a new layer. And if you have CS uh, Photoshop 6, you can use what is called Content Aware. And basically use the lasso tool to highlight the selected area. Go to Edit, Fill. Uh, now for Fill, change it to Content Aware. Hit OK. And as you can see, it does a really good job there a lot better than the brush most times not always but uh, and it's a lot quicker too obviously so we have that and we'll do edit fill and click off that and not too bad I see a little here that I'm not that great about so now you can go back to if you want the content brush and just go over it a little bit and voila we're done it's gone and for sake of being clean on this one here I don't, I'm not so much of a worry about uh, saving that uh, we're good to go there the next step is to create a uh, lens flare so we go to new layer edit fill and this time now we're going to do black which is my background layer at the moment I'm gonna hit OK I'm going to change the mode to screen and I'm now going to do feather render lens flare and I got it set we're pretty much where I want it and I bumped it to 120 for this particular photo percentage so we have that now we want to create a mask and we're going to go filter and we're going to go to blur, Gaussian blur and we're going to take that to about 2 hit OK and now we're going to paint away the areas that we don't want now you can basically use changes to the foreground, use the brush and use the brackets to increase the size and 
and you can make these go away like this. Okay, I kind of want to clean up a little bit more here and give a little more detail, so I'm going to go like this. And I actually want to clean this up down here. Oops, a little too far. Step back. Kind of like to have the richer color here. Quick way to do it would just be the lasso tool as well. Okay. Just do opacity down just a little bit. Too much. there. Okay now I'm going to create the light cross. I didn't do so well on making the cross so I came up with a way to help me a little bit, uh, be more proportional. So put the foreground on white, grab your paintbrush, uh, you got to make it smaller, so bring it down. And I'm going to take it to 30. And we'll use this with the shift key to help keep it straight, the line. Otherwise I get all crooked. And this just allows me to be a little more proportional. transform it, rotate, and we'll do that 45, hit apply, now grab the brush again, but this time you want to drop it down from 30 to 20, If you make a little mistake, you can do step back to help you out a little bit. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. Good enough. Now we'll move it over and edit, transform scale, take it down a little bit in size. Apply. And now we're going to do the blend if. Double click on it and if you go down here and you hold the alt key down you can actually split it and adjust more black into it to kind of let it black show better. Hit OK. Maybe drop the opacity a little bit. And there's your light cross. Not the greatest, but you get the point. Now I'm going to do some adjustments. We're going to create a levels adjustment. Uh, talking to Mike, he's, I believe he said both levels, curves, uh, hue saturation are the main ones that he likes to use. So we'll tweak the blacks and a hair. My 
elements in and then adjust the contrast a little bit more, kind of give it some depth. Uh, he didn't go over it, but he does show it on his after. Uh, one of his pictures is you can also do curves. So we can do another adjustment layer, go to curves. And you can tweak it a little there. Just to show you. Now, uh, to add some texture, uh, included in the files he gave us was a picture of this. So basically, if you select all, or just go like that, hit edit, copy, take it back over to the picture, create a layer, and hit edit, paste. Obviously, it's not big enough, so you just do edit, transform, scale, and just stretch it beyond the picture. So take out any of this white stuff or other stuff there. Give it a clean look there. Take the mode, change to soft light, and then you can adjust it uh, to what works for you. As you can see, the effect. I will do about Now one thing you can do is you want to keep all this in case you want to change it, but you want to touch it up, uh, combine it in a non-destructive way. If you do the shift Control alt e it will take everything hang on I guess, oh I didn't hit apply yet, you gotta finish your your adjust. Now that that's taken care of Let's combine all these different effects into one layer. So it's Shift, Control, Alt, E. There we go. So everything here is now combined into one. That way if you make a mistake here, you still go back to what you've done up, up to this point. So with this, we're going to move to Vivid Light. We are then going to go to Filter, Other, High Pass, go between 3 and 4, hit OK. Take the effect down to about 70%, and at this point, oops. There is the finished picture. Hopefully this is helpful, and have a good day.